I needed a magnetic stirrer to keep some cells agitated for cell culture, but didn't want to spend the 30 or so dollars needed to buy one. This magnetic stirrer uses an old computer fan and some cheap neodymium magnets with a moldable plastic stir bar. Prepare and clean the fan for use. Your fan may have two wires, red for positive and black for negative. If it has three wires, the white wire is a tachometer and is not needed. Glue the magnets on opposite sides of the fan head. The magnets in the fan's motor may push the magnets around a bit, so arrange accordingly. I arranged the magnets to have opposite polarities facing up. The magnets will increase the profile of the fan, so you will need spacers before putting a flat surface on top. The spacers can be anything, I used coins initially. Eventually I snapped off a few pieces of spare plexiglass I had lying around and glued them to the edges of the fan. Either way, make sure the spacers are higher than the profile of the fan with the magnets glued on. The magnetic stirrer can be powered by any voltage source the fan is rated to. However, make sure your magnets are strong enough to couple together from the fan to the stir bar with a rated speed. If the speed is too high, the stir bar will not spin correctly. I didn't need torrential currents for mine, so I used a lower voltage. This is a magnetic stirrer, not a blender. The lower voltage will result in a slower fan speed, and the stir bar will better be able to better keep up with the fan speed. Thanks for watching.